the Pacific is about real guys, real subjects. Their memoirs are searing and their, and their stories are, are riveting. Anytime we're telling true stories, you have to feel a special responsibility just simply getting it right. It's brutal and it's honest. It's right there in your face, as it was for them. When I was 15 years old, uh, World War II broke out, and I was a paper boy at the time, and everybody wanted to join. And if you weren't going to join, they were going to draft you anyway. So the next several years, until I became 17, I pestered my mother every day to let me join the Marine Corps. And finally, when I got to be 17, I kept pestering her. She said, if they'll take you, they can have you. <laughs> so uh, she signed the papers, which your parents had to do at that age, and I went down to the post office with my mother, and she signed for me to join the United States Marine Corps. I was fortunate enough to train in machine guns under the tutelage of the famous John Bassalon. Names? Tatum, Charles, Private First Class. Evanson, Steve, Private First Class. Here I am in the presence of the Marine's number one icon hero, the hero of Guadalcanal and Medal of Honor recipient. And I thought, boy, I'm really lucky. When he talked, everybody paid attention. Never, ever fail to respect their desire to put you and your buddies into an early grave. Is that clear? Yes, sir. They worked on our physical condition, our mental condition, the weapons. They tried to tell us, if you don't learn this, it could cost you your life later. You knew you were there for a reason, <laughs> that somewhere along the line, you're going to go in combat. I don't know anybody that could claim they weren't scared. Because here you're going into an island with who knows how many enemies on it, and you're going to be lucky if you make it. I was there 15 days at Iwo Jima. We were on the front lines all the time. My company had 258 men when we went ashore. We left with 38. Stay lower! Go, go! How many people see somebody they know killed in front of their eyes? And another one, another one, and another one. I don't care who you are, it's going to affect your thinking. That's the Bronze Star. And that's the medal I received from the Marine Corps for my action at Hill 362. When I used a machine gun on him to save Steve, my best friend had just been shot. And in my rage, I ran out there and I grabbed the machine gun and I fired it from the hip into this cave and annihilated the Japanese. When Steve's been carried away on the stretcher, he just kind of gave me the okay sign. Steve died during the night. It was a very traumatic thing to see happen. Iwo Jima cost 6,800 American lives and 30,000 wounded. They can't ever forget this.